So I'm going to be showing you how to create a really simple look just using the pigments alone. A lot of people ask us questions about how you get the pigments looking so vibrant, how to apply them. A lot of the time it's actually to do with just pressure and the brushes that you're using. So I'm going to, for this look, I'm going to be using three shades, Crush, Phoenix and Ruby. So first of all, I'm getting the Peaches and Cream Eyeshadow Primer. I've got a light layer of foundation already on my eyelids just to even out the pigmentation. And then using a foundation brush, I'm just applying a thin layer of the primer. So using a fluffy blending brush, I'm picking up a little bit of the ruby pigment, which is like a bright red. And you literally want to just pick up a tiny little bit on your brush and you press the pigment into the lid. And then looking straight on into the mirror, you press the brush on the outer corner and very just lightly start tracing the colour across the top of the socket. So you're following the natural shape of the socket round. And I'm just rubbing it in as you would an eyeshadow. So when you're blending, just be patient. Patience is the key, really, to just rubbing it all in. If you're worried about how bright you've took your pigment um, straight away, just use a clean brush. Just rub over it and that'll just pick up the excess and help you smooth it all in. So all I'm concentrating on is at the top edge between the eyeshadow and my brow bone looks nice and soft and nice and blended. If you've made a little bit of a mess on the centre of your lid and you feel like that you've took the product too far down, just go back to your foundation brush that has got the remnants of your primer on and just gently pat this over the centre of your lid just to clean it up and this is just going to make your lid colour go on nice and strong when you apply it. So I'm getting Phoenix now, which is a gorgeous shade that complements the ruby. It's like a glitter, like a glittery red. And this is just going to stick on top of that primer. So I'm picking it up and I'm pressing it into the lid. And then using a flat little round brush, this is the Peaches and Cream number five eyeshadow brush. I'm just firmly patting that onto the centre of the lid. And I'm going back in for more once I can feel that I've run out of colour. Don't be stingy with your pigments if you want them to look nice and vibrant. And then finally, I'm going to take a little pencil brush. This is the Peaches and Cream number no. 7 brush. I'm just dotting that on the inner corner. And this is the crush pigment. You'll notice that other than the socket, all the pigments that I've applied, I'm pressing them onto the skin. Brushing them, kind of, some of the products will go onto the skin, but a lot of it will brush off. And then it's up to you. You can leave the underneath of your eyes bare, because obviously we're going to put a bit of mascara on. But it's quite nice to get a little bit of the pigment now and just follow that underneath the lower lashes to make them look quite smoky. And then I can just neaten up underneath that with my foundation brush. With darker looks, you might want to do your eyeshadow first. But with something like this, I think you can get like a nice smudgy effect underneath if you've actually got your foundation on first. Finally, I'm going to apply some lashes. I'm going to be using the Peaches number 19 lashes. These are gorgeous and wispy, um, so they look great with any look. They're good for daytime looks, nighttime looks. So when you're applying your lashes, you want to measure them up first. I've took this out the container and you place it on top of your lashes start from where your own hair start 
and then just gauge how much would overhang on the ends by pinching the little overlap using the back of my brush I'm just running a little bit of lash glue along the base so I'm placing the lash on top of my own lashes and then I'm just going to use my fingers to press the ends into place. So to recap, I've used Ruby across the um, socket on a fluffy blending brush. I've then applied the Phoenix to the actual ball of the lid and I've done that in a press, press and motion with the number five brush. And then using a pencil brush, which is this little one. I've added a little dab of crush into the inner corners. You could use any of the shimmery pigments to do that or even a glitter. And then I've ran the ruby color, which was the socket color under the lower lashes. Just lightly smudged it and it's really easy to do. Hopefully after watching this, you'll feel a lot more confident applying our bolder colors, how to combine different pigments to create something that looks quite striking, but it's actually really easy to achieve.